Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I am Hamad Youssef. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs and Board of Directors Chairman of the Oil and Gas Holding Company, Noga, His Highness Sheikh Nazar bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received Oil Minister Sheikh Mohammed bin Khalifa Al Khalifa and Board of Directors Chairman and Chief Executive Officer of Babco Dr. Dawood Nasif. His Highness stressed the importance of continuous work to increase investments in the oil and gas sector, as well as developing the oil industries by increasing production and implementing mega projects so as to reflect positively on the development march led by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and achieve the aspirations of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa of activating the role of the two sectors and stimulating the national economy in line with the goals of the Bahrain Economic Vision 2030. His Highness discussed with the oil minister all economic and investment topics related to oil and gas and was informed about the future plans and programs to be implemented by the oil ministry and Babco in order to develop the oil sector in the kingdom using the best technology in the oil industries. He also reviewed Babco's mega projects that reflect the kingdom's plans to continue investing in the oil sector so as to achieve the sustainability of various development sectors. The oil minister and Babco chairman renewed congratulations to His Highness Sheikh Nasser on the precious royal trust bestowed upon him through the appointment as Noga Holding Board of Directors Chairman, stressing that his interest, experience and distinguished capabilities will enable the oil and gas sector to make a quantum leap at the organizational and investment levels. His Highness and the Oil Minister highlighted the importance of joint efforts in stimulating the national economy through developing oil projects and industries. The President of the Sustainable Energy Authority, Dr. Abdul Hussein Mirza, and the CEO of the National Committee for Space Research, Dr. Mohamed Al Asiri, signed a memorandum of understanding on enhancing cooperation in the field of space science and renewable energy. Dr. Mirza said that this memorandum comes as a result of the Royal Directors to deepen cooperation between various public sector organizations in order to enhance the progress and prosperity of the Kingdom. Dr. Al Asiri said that this is a new phase of cooperation between the two parties to share data in various fields and with the aim of fulfilling national needs such as generating clean energy and achieving sustainable development. The parliamentary delegation of the Kingdom of Bahrain participated in the 7th Inter-Parliamentary Union for the Youth to discuss post-COVID-19 as part of efforts to overcome the pandemic and build a better future. The Bahraini delegation affirmed that the Kingdom implemented a successful education experience and pointed out that the education march will continue and will not be affected by the repercussions of the pandemic thanks to the directors of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the support of the government led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. The Kingdom of Bahrain joins the world in celebrating Intellectual Property Day and for its part, the Ministry of Industry, Commerce and Tourism is always keen on supporting creative people and innovators as well as protect intellectual property through encouraging individuals to register through industrial property protection systems, trademark industrial designs and patents through electronic services available on the Ministry's website. The Ministry is keen on holding a number of events that aim to enhance awareness regarding intellectual property, encouraging creativity and innovation in order to allow individuals to prosper and protect their work at the same time. The National Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus held a press conference to provide an update on Bahrain's COVID-19 response. The Ministry of Health Under Secretary Dr. Walid al Mana highlighted the thorough mitigation efforts, adding the capacity across hospitals is always reviewed to ensure medical services are not affected. He commended His Majesty's unwavering appreciation and support to the Kingdom's national cadres, including frontline health workers and supporting staff, noting the relentless efforts of Team Bahrain led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister and safeguarding public health. He emphasized the importance of following all health and social distancing measures, including in places of worship, hotels, restaurants and cafes, and noted that a lot of establishments have been closed due to violations of precautionary measures and inspections are continuing in this regard. He noted that Bahrain has one of the highest vaccination rates globally. The infectious disease consultant and microbiologist at the BDF Hospital, Lieutenant Colonel Dr. Manaf al ghahtani highlighted that studies of approved vaccines in Bahrain have proven effective and protecting individuals and reducing symptom severity. He indicated that despite the presence of mutated strains, vaccines have provided immunity and have reduced transmission. The consultant on infectious and internal diseases at Salmania Medical Complex, Dr. Jamil Salman, emphasized the importance of continuing to adhere to all precautionary measures and getting vaccinated. 
the national vaccination campaign continues to witness a wide turnout of citizens and residents. The Ministry of Health announced that 681,686 had taken the first dose of the vaccine, while 534,673 had taken the second. The ministry renewed its call for the community to commit to all precautionary measures and take the initiative to register for the coronavirus vaccination. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of active coronavirus cases reached 10,126 with 1,400 recoveries, 1,147 registered new cases and 8 deaths. 483 of the new registered cases are expatriates, 642 are contacts of active cases and 22 are travel related. The ministry expresses heartfelt condolences to the families of the deceased and urges everyone to comply with the guidelines issued by the National Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus.